Hey, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG and today what I got for you guys is going to be it's going to be a random fire deck. So basically how this deck came about was I ordered some fire stuff online. Not all of it came in. I really wanted to play it still. So I just kind of built a deck with what I had already. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We're going to go ahead and hop right into it here, guys. We're going to start off by taking a look at Bicephalon. Apparently that's how you pronounce this Pokemon name. It's not Blazephalon, it's Bicephalon. Make sure it's picking up in the camera. Okay, that looks fine. And basically this is one of the new cards out of Unbroken Bonds. This is the one that caught my eye anyway. Uh, the first attack is Blazer for a single fire energy. It does 10. And you can turn one of your face down prize cards face up. If it's a fire energy card, this deck does 50 more damage. It's not too bad, just a good way to soften up your opponent's Pokemon. And then Fireball Circus for 3 fire energy. You can discard as many fire energy as you want from your hand. It does 50 times the amount of damage you discard. So that's pretty good. You know, if you're able to you know, hit a Fiery Flint and you know you already have another one in your hand, that could be 250. Or just a single Fiery Flint, you pull 4 to your hand and then you can basically just go ahead and do 200 damage, which is really nice. And then we have one random Charizard Reshiram, or Reshiram Charizard, excuse me. I, I have a bad habit of saying Charizard Reshiram. But uh, this is in here pretty much just because I didn't want to have four basics in my deck only, and it was just kind of sitting there, and I said, why not? Uh, but this pretty much is a awesome card, too. It has the attack Outrage, because, you know, a Pokemon with 270 HP needs Outrage. But as a base of 30, and then it does 10 more damage reach damage counter on this Pokemon. Now it's got 270 HP, if you're not playing anything water, it's going to be kind of difficult to one-shot this. And then Flare Strike for 230 for 4 energy, uh, 3 fire, and a single colorless, it does 230. And this Pokemon can't use Flare Strike during your next turn. And this GX attack is Double Blaze GX, 200 plus for 3 fire energy. If this Pokemon has at least 3 extra fire energy attached to it, in addition to this attack's cost, this attack does 100 more damage, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So this is just a pretty good way to kind of get past the effects, and on top of this, you can get it set up in one turn. You can welder and attach for your turn, and you have three energy on it pretty much right away. And I was actually considering adding another Retro Charizard to this deck because I actually pulled another one. I can't believe it. I did, but I pulled another one. And so I thought about adding another one in here just for, you know, shits and giggles. Yeah, that is the Pokemon line, and honestly, this deck doesn't really have a strategy it's more of a, of a Bicephalon deck than anything uh, but the Charizard restroom is in there just look pretty now the supporters for this deck are pretty uh, I would say standard for a fire deck right now we have four welder of course welder you dis or you can attach up to two fire energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon and then draw three cards just a really good way for you to get energy on the board get a little draw power in there and then we have uh, three greens exploration. This is a really good card uh, because basically there's no abilities in this deck, so that means you can hit this every single time. Uh, what you can do is you search your deck for two trainer cards. I believe it's what the word says. Let me just make sure trainer card. Yes. So uh, that doesn't specify that it needs to be an item. It doesn't specify that it has to be like a certain thing. So it could be anything. So basically, you can search your deck for welder. You can search for fiery flinch, or fire crystals, etc. Uh, pretty much you can just kind of get yourself set up for the next turn, which is really nice. I like it, and it's also a really good card just to open with. Uh, you know, if you're going first, you can't attack or anything. You can Green's Exploration, just kind of set your hand up for the next turn, which is really, really nice. Uh, next up, we have 3 Guzma. Uh, just because of the fact that you want to bring stuff up as much as possible with this deck, it's really nice to do that. And I apologize for the squeaking, guys. I'm in my uh, rickety old lawn chair that's in my room because my other chair broke. I'm in the process of getting a, chair, a new chair, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, this one won't be a piece of crap. This one will actually be a high-quality chair. Almost said high-quality H2O. Uh, but yeah, Guzma is just in here, so that way you can bring stuff up off the bench, you know, take some cheap prizes, or finish off a Pokemon. And then we're going to round out the supporters with two Cynthia. Uh, this is in here just for some extra, you know, draw support. Uh, Cynthia is a great card, so why not? Now we're going to get to the beautiful part of the deck, which is the... Trainers, which is really what makes this deck just kind of nutty. So, uh, starting it off, we have four Fiery Flint. Uh, this card is pretty much Ultra Ball for four, uh, yeah, four Fire Energy. And basically, what you do is you just discard two cards and you can search your deck for up to four Fire Energy cards and then add them to your hand. This is just fantastic with the Cephalon. Uh, great synergy, perfect synergy, so that way you can just kind of pull off a big attack. Uh, next up, we have four Fiery Crystal. This is just a good way for you to get your energy back into your hand. You can grab three energy, so 
Uh, you know, if one of your Bicephalon goes down or you do like a big attack or something like that, you can get the energies back to your hand. Uh, next up, we have my favorite uh, item card personally from Unbroken Bonds, which is Energy Spinner. Uh, and the reason why this is my favorite card from this set is because I actually have a Fidget Spinner. Let me just pull this bad boy out. Yeah. Well, we're going ultimate level cringe. Boom. I have a Fidget Spinner right there. I think they're funny. I didn't get a, like obsessed with them like certain people did. I just think they're funny. <laughs> but Energy Spinner is basically Energy Search or a watered down professor's letter. I'm old. So I always think of energy search when I think of an item card that can grab energy out of the deck. You know, these new kids these days are like, oh yeah, that's just like Professor's Letter, but it's, not, it's worse. I'm like, no, it's energy search, whippersnapper. Uh, but the cool thing about this card is if you go second and you open with this, instead of grabbing one, you can grab three. So that's really, really nice. So yeah, if you go second, which I have before, you can grab three energy out of your deck. I've actually opened with two of these before, and it was a great, great game. <laughs> uh, here's a card that I'm really sad that we're losing at the same time I'm not though but pretty much for the current format this is amazing in Bicephalon I mean honestly it is fantastic you don't have to like use as many resources to keep energy on the board so one of your Bicephalon goes down and basically when you use all of your stuff to get your energy back to your hand you don't have to play them down so you just have more energy in your hand but uh, Wishful Baton is great with this deck just moves all the energy to a new Bicephalon you know so like, this dude goes down, energy goes to him, you play your Fiery Flint, your Fire Crystals, your whatever, and then there you go. You don't have to attach those energies, so you're just maximizing out in damage. I'm going to be really sad when Wishful Baton leaves because it is great in this deck. Uh, next up, we have three Nest Ball. We only play five basics in the deck, so we really need a way to search out those cards and get them on the field. Uh, which is also why we play three Rescue Stretcher. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I love the three Rescue Stretcher. I seem to pull these whenever I absolutely need them. And so that's just great. Uh, next up, we have two B-String. Uh, B-String is pretty much just in here because, of course, Bicephalon is a Ultra Beast, obviously. And whenever your opponent takes down, well, with this deck, if your opponent takes down one Restaurant Charizard, you can B-String. Or just takes down a couple Bicephalon, you can B-String. Or it can just be something you can discard out of your hand. Uh, I've had games where I don't necessarily need them. And then I've had games where they were just, like, really clutch and huge. Uh, so that's why there's only two in here. I didn't want to get too crazy with it. Uh, then we have two Energy Recycler. This is going to be a card that is definitely going to be... Uh, I'm going to notice it personally whenever it rotates out. And I have to use something else next format. Uh, you can pretty much just put five Energy back into your deck. Great card. Absolutely love it. And they're going to round out the deck with one Heat Factory. The obvious choice uh, for the Fire deck here. So That is the item cards now. The Energy is pretty... Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just kind of went nuts with this. So... First off, we have uh, Beast Energy. I don't really need to go into detail why that's in here. It's kind of the same reason why Beast String is in here, of course, because, you know, Bicephalon is an Ultra Beast. And in a lot of different situations, this makes it to where you only have to discard two. I've had a lot of matchups where my opponents had, like, like over 100 HP, like 130, 120. And so this just makes it to where you only have to discard two energy, and it's really, really nice. Uh, and then we have, I believe it is 16, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have another one on the floor down there, so that's sixteen. So we have sixteen fire energy. Uh, might be a little high, but then again, I was trying to find space for the cards I was missing. So yeah, there we go. We have uh, six, yeah, sixteen fire energy. So yeah, that's pretty much. In here because all your stuff needs fire energy, and that's why that's in there. Uh, something I have next to me here that I'm going to try to add in is the Poke Gears. I feel like these would be huge. This is more of like a next format card, I feel like, though, more than anything. Right now it would be really good, but after playing this deck, I don't know exactly what I could even take out for the Restaurant Charizard and such. It's just, just one of those things, but yeah. I have another one here that I'm really wanting to put in my deck. I actually sleeved it right away. So, you know, that's, that's just how that is. But, yeah, that, that's the deck, guys. Really, there, there's no general strategy to this deck. I just built this because I had fire stuff and I really wanted to use it. <laughs> but, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I might have a little more condition, or conventional. Conditional. <laughs> I can't speak. I might have a little more of a conventional fire deck coming for you guys pretty soon. Uh, I mean, if I keep pulling Restaurant Charizards, I'll be happy. <laughs> I mean, if I pull one more, you know, hey, that'd be great. But... 
yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Take care, guys. I love you. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG, signing out.